But the rebuilding process looks different for everyone. For some, the only way to move forward came through tearing the old down. Tonight, T311's Rebecca Brown takes us to a pillar of the community, starting fresh atop a new foundation. As we near the anniversary of the March 31st tornado, many places that were hit have already bounced back. But for the hard hit roller funeral homes, the only way to rebuild was to start from scratch. We have always been pillars of the community and the community is still here uh, helping us build us back and bring us back to them. For Renata Jenkins Byler, the owner of Roller Funeral Homes in Little Rock, it's hard to imagine all this damage from the March 31st tornado being turned around into this. There's no way that we could have serve our families in a building that was not safe. So we had to take it down to the ground and now we are building it back up stronger and better than ever. A business owner's worst dream is to be waking up to the reality of their business being destroyed by a natural disaster. The day of the tornado, we had 41 trees that came down. You couldn't even see our office building for all the trees between the funeral home there. We had two holes on this side of the office building that the slate tile from the top of the, our funeral home ended up in the top of our office building over there. Now nearly a year removed, Roller Funeral Homes is reclaiming their business again on Chanel. You'll see the vertical walls going up, the steel's being uh, brought in next week. We're putting the trusses up, so people are getting really excited and they can see that we are coming up. Jenkins says Roller Funeral Homes is still serving the community with the same mission. And when you come into our funeral home, you're coming into our home. We open the door and we want you to feel comfortable. Just with an updated look. We were almost 30 years old and we wanted to bring back to the community updates of 30 years old. So when the architects had done it before, it was hand drawn and now everything is done by the CAD system. Byler says Roller Funeral Homes plans to have an open house when construction is complete. They hope that can happen in the next 18 months.